Minister for Education and Skills the need for revision of an all-Irish second-level school in North Kildare. Uh, I understand you're sharing time, and I call now on uh, Deputy uh, Stagg to make a conclusion. Uh, 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 Kyrlach, I would like to thank the Cancor for selecting this, uh, this uh, uh, issue. And I'm sorry the Minister is not here himself to take the debate, as he's the Minister responsible rather than the Minister of State. I want to express my thanks, I haven't said that, to the Minister for the provision he's met for North Kildare with uh, two new schools in Maynooth, a second level school in Maynooth, and a, a, a second level and pr new primary school in Selbridge. Uh, Colossia Cushliffy, a second level school, was established in 1997 for West Dublin, North Kildare. That, uh, that has been repeated, uh, uh, repeatedly stated that that was the purpose of it. Indeed, uh, to my colleague Vernon Durkin, very recently, in answer to a question, the Minister said it was for North Kildare and West Dublin. A new enrolment policy has been put in place by Cushliffy, which actually excludes North Kildare students uh, from the school. Selbridge, Leakslip, and Maynooth, prop, uh, all, uh, all Irish schools are now excluded from that post. post primary uh, All-Irish School. Uh, so they, these three schools now have no outlet to a second level school. Uh, the, uh, he, the Minister has, sta has stated repeatedly uh, that uh, he will make provision if there is a need proven. There is now a need proven uh, very, very easily and it can be done, and I make a proposal to the Minister, that it can be done at minimal cost. Uh, Cushliffy is full and we accept that. Maynooth Post Primary School will be empty shortly. It's a fine structure. It's not fit for purpose for, for the uh, post-primary uh, general school, but it's, it will be empty short, shortly. The Kildare Wicklow Education and Training Board are prepared to make it available uh, for the purpose of, of an all-Irish uh, second-level school in North Kildare. Uh, this year, in September, the sixth-level students uh, from the three primary schools will have nowhere to go. I'm suggesting that the, the prefabs in Cushliffy, which are empty, could be used on a temporary basis until the post-primary in Maynooth is, is actually available, and that would be very shortly. I'd ask the Minister not to tell us about Enoch. It's not an acceptable alternative to a full immersion in our Irish system. And Nace and Clondalkin uh, secondary schools might as well be in Mars. Uh, there's no public transport from North Kildare to either place, and the Minister, this Minister of State won't provide school buses from, from North Kildare to that school. So I know the Minister is a reasonable and practical man. I'm making a, a very positive proposal how this can be dealt with with minimal cost and ask the Minister to consider it. Thank you. I now call on Deputy Catherine Murphy uh, to make a statement. Oh, sir. Yeah, I mean, the All Irish model is an established model in Oracle there. First of the, the primary schools was established in 1979. This, there is, uh, it, in the northeast part of the, the county, there's three uh, All Irish primary schools one in Kilcock, one in Maynooth, one in Leakslip. This year, they have, for September, they'll have to refuse just short of 200 pupils, refuse admission just short of 200 pupils. It, they are incredibly successful. There are six Ranachets leaving in June, and there is, uh, the provision for them uh, is, is, is not sufficient. The, uh, the point that has been made in relation to uh, Kushliffy, it was developed as a regional school. It is, again, it's, as, it's popular in Lucan. There are two pr uh, primary schools in Lucan that will totally fill the places from next year. There will be no children from North Kildare because of the enrolment policy accommodated in, uh, in, the, uh, uh, in Kush Kushliffy. Um, there are prefabs in place mainly because of uh, the winds over, the, uh, over the, the Christmas and damage to the roof. Modern prefabs in place, a short, a medium and a, a long-term strategy needs to be put in place for not just, um, and it can be put in place uh, through the proposals that have already been put. I met the Minister for, uh, for Education myself several times last week, gave him the numbers for each of the schools. Uh, in, in addition to uh, that, uh, what needs to happen is uh, the, um, there is a proposal uh, awaiting approval at the building uh, approval section in relation to uh, the Kilcock um, all our school, um, uh, Kalosh, uh, uh, our, our school, uh, Scully Reader in Kilcock, for a third stream. That's stuck in the mud. And at the same time, the baby boom is producing the children. The parents uh, desire this type of education. Uh, it's not a fad. It is consistent since 1979. It is a choice 
that has to be provided for. And unfortunately, the kind of choices that we seem to be debating exclusively are around, uh, you know, are, and rightly, you know, um, but are around only about uh, the patronage from the point of view of a religious uh, patronage. But in actual fact, there are different choices that people want to make, and they're choosing with their feet to have 197 uh, students not being accommodated in North Kildare, um, where there is a desire to have those children accommodated. There's something going wrong in terms of the planning for those, ch th those children, and that needs to be righted by the department as well. Thank you, Deputy Murphy. I now call on the Minister of State to reply. Minister, you have four minutes. Um, and I want to uh, thank both deputies for raising the matter and providing me an opportunity to outline to the House the position in relation to the extent of all Irish school vision in the North Kildare area. At primary level in North Kildare, three Gwael Skullen were established to meet demand for instruction through the medium of Irish Gwael Carly Gawley in Leakslip, Gwael Skull Kilcocka in Kilcock, and Skully Beak in Maynooth. And while in nearby Lucan, two new 16 classroom school buildings have been provided for Gwael Skull Need Podrick and Gwael Skull Escarida. I'm aware that one of the Gwael Squells very recently applied to my department to expand its accommodation and as with any application for capital investment, that assessment process will necessarily take into account overall enrolments and the extent of the existing and planned school accommodation in the area where the school is located. My department is currently liaising with the patron of the school in question in relation to this matter and a decision will be conveyed to the school authorities when this process has been finalised. At post-primary level, the deputies will probably be aware that in July of 2012, Minister Quinn announced the patronage of 14 new post-primary schools to be established to cater for increasing demographics across a number of locations, and this included the Kildare and Wicklow ETB, as the patron of a new post-primary school for Maynooth to commence operation in September of 2014. One of the requirements for patronage of new post-primary schools where the medium of instruction is English is a willingness and a commitment to open an A&M in the school if there's a significant element of parental demand for instruction through the medium of Irish. And in the case of Maynooth, the department noted the high level of parental demand identified for that alternative language provision. Accordingly, the announcement included the establishment of an a and in the new Maynooth post-primary school. In addition, my department has confirmed that if sufficient demand for education through the medium of Irish in the a and is demonstrated over a four-year cycle, consideration will then be given to the establishment of an independent Gwail Kalashta. I expect that this Aenith together with provision in Kalash the Kushlifa can be between them meet the current demands for students seeking instruction through the medium of Irish. As deputies will be aware, uh, the Department of Education is forecasting an increase nationally of over 70,000 primary pupils and over 35,000 post-primary pupils by 2019. And to meet the needs of our growing population of school-going children, the delivery of new schools together with the extension projects will be the main focus for capital investment in the coming years. Considerable investment has already been made in the North Kildare area in recent years to meet those demographic challenges, including significant all-Irish provision at both primary and post-primary level. My department will continue to keep the demographics of the area under review and additional accommodation requirements will be met under this process in consultation with the patrons of the schools concerned as appropriate. Deputy Stag, you have one minute to make a supplementary yeah, statement. But, uh, the Minister's response is a typical civil service script rather than a response to what we had to say. He didn't even uh, consider what we had to say. And I, I'd ask him to actually look at what we're saying rather than uh, what the civil servants are telling him about this in isolation. Uh, we, we are facing a situation with three primary schools with nowhere for them to go to third level in an all-Irish setting. That's the reality. There will be a, there will be a school empty in Maynooth in a, a short period of time that is entirely fit for purpose for the establishment of, of, the, of, 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 a, of a second level all-Irish school. And the Minister is saying in four years' time, or the civil service is saying in four years' time, we might consider that we prove a need. How the hell can you pr prove a need when there's nowhere to, to show the need? Uh, in, a, in, in, in one of the schools, in exi uh, whole schools in Maynooth, won't show a need. Uh, we have the, the primary schools there, we have the students saying they want to go continue in an Irish setting, and I'd ask the Minister, if we value the Irish language, and if we value its, its, its development and growth, that we should act, uh, now actually deal with this situation now rather than four years' time, and we, and we have, without very much cost at all, uh, an existing building, an existing school, where we can actually establish the All-Irish School now in Maynooth to cater for the three schools right beside it. Thank you, Deputy Stagg. Deputy Murphy. Yes, 
what is the first language because uh, essentially I um, my children went to one of these schools um, in the 80s and the early 90s um, and essentially every time there was one established uh, the parents were the, the drivers and the it was fought all the way um, the the aim it is not seen it's seen as a rowing back it's seen as a watering down. It's not seen as an acceptable model uh, for the parents. Um, when you start seeing hundreds of parents coming together, uh, uh, you know, that are united in terms of, of what they want, they do not want an ANIT. And where again they're being asked to prove that there is a demand. There's seven sixth classes coming out of the primary schools. Uh, the estimate is that 60% of those in any setting will want to go on to an all-Irish model. It is not available. There won't be one place available to them from next year unless there's a change in the, the way the department are, are dealing with this. Um, the building approval section also have to do something in relation to uh, Kilcock, in relation to the, uh, the, 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 um, the application for uh, so the, the third stream there. There's, there's almost 100 pupils being torn down in that school alone um, and it's a, it's a wider catchment taken in plain so it's at both primary and secondly secondary secondary level but i'm just wondering what have the department been counting have they not been counting the the children that are in those particular schools um, it, it doesn't seem to me they've been counting the right thing at all uh, when you when you uh, you know uh, you're saying that there's uh, the, you, you know the overall enrollments but it's not about choice and it's certainly not about um, uh, continuing a very successful model in terms of, uh, in, in terms of uh, teaching through the medium of the Irish language. Thank you, Deputy Murphy. Uh, Minister, you have two minutes for a concluding statement. As I stated earlier, the, the biggest challenge the department faces between now and 2019 is to uh, find and establish accommodation for those 70,000 extra children in primary and the 30,000 in post-primary. That is a major challenge, uh, a challenge that the department is undertaking uh, uh, over a five-year programme, which was announced by Minister Quinn very early in the life of this government. And the department has had regard to both the existing and planned all Irish provision at primary and post primary level in the areas concerned in determining where new schools uh, would provide tuition through the medium of English or Irish. As I mentioned earlier on, Maynooth Community College, which will open in September 2014, includes in Aynath, and in the opinion of the department, along with Colosh the Kushlifa, both those centres are able to address current demand. And if, if it is proven in the future, well, that's. The, 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 the Aynath and the Colors de Kuslifa between them, according to the people in the building unit, uh, have sufficient capacity to uh, accept the uh, enrolments that are likely to occur from the Goel Squal in, in that particular region. If the deputies uh, are making the case that there isn't sufficient accommodation available within those two centres, and if there is an opportunity, as one deputy has suggested, uh, to look at uh, perhaps reconfiguring or um, re re um, allocating a particular uh, school building in the, in the region, I will certainly undertake to raise that directly with the officials uh, concerned and undertake to revert to the deputy, both deputies uh, on that particular matter. Thank you, Deputy Cannon.